y'all welcome back to another video my name is miles with holiday world out of dallas texas and we just got in this 2015 casita 16 foot freedom deluxe and i'm very excited because i have never seen a casita travel trailer before but i have heard all the hype and this thing is pretty neat so i'm really excited to look at it i've heard from my customers and different people within this industry that it's about a two year wait list to get a brand new casita right now so pretty excited to take a look at this 2015 model again it is about a 16 foot the dry weight on it is going to be somewhere right around 2100 pounds so it's going to be towable by a ton of different vehicles out there in the market including a lot of suvs and pretty much i think every truck out there i don't think there's a truck out there that wouldn't be able to tow this thing so really excited to look at it and see what all the hype is about since this is my first time ever looking at a casita trailer so let's go what's up y'all welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos i'm super excited that you're here just sit back relax and enjoy and if you do get something out of this video consider hitting the like button down below and definitely that subscribe button become a part of this growing community of rvers all around the world if you want to connect with me on other social media platforms links to my instagram tiktok and facebook are down below where you can find other related rv content and then finally if you are interested in this rv or any rv for that matter you can text me at the number on the screen i am in a sales position and can help you and assist you in finding and purchasing in your next RV. I do not get paid by my dealership to make these videos. I make them on my own time to help educate people and show the different cool RVs that are out there and available. And then hopefully establish trust with you so that when you are ready to purchase your next RV, you'll text me the number on the screen when you're ready. All right, y'all. So again, this is a 2015 Casita 16 foot Freedom Deluxe. It is a pretty incredible travel trailer. Has a lot of really cool things about it that we're gonna take a look at as we walk around. It is great for couples or a single person, someone with a dog maybe, or any kind of pet. And it's gonna allow you to go do basically whatever you wanna do real easily. And we're gonna look at why these things are so hyped up and why they are so sought after. You can see this one has a nice accessory rack here on the back. Looks like it has some sort of outside tent setup that it comes with from the previous owner as well. I haven't had a chance to unpack that and see everything that's in there, but my guess is that's some sort of outside tent or patio type of setup. And we're gonna take a look at everything on the outside and then the inside. Um, one cool thing immediately you see this fiberglass shell goes all the way up along the roof. I haven't actually got to look up. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so you have this fiberglass shell that goes along the whole roof line. And because there's no AC on the roof, I'm gonna see if I can figure out the exact height on it. I'm literally gonna have to get out my tape measure because I could not find specs for the height of this trailer. But let's see if I can figure it out real quick. All right, pretty difficult to measure on my own, but it seems like to the top of this bubble that the height of this is gonna be somewhere right around eight feet, maybe just a touch over eight feet with that bubble up there but i stuck my arm up pretty much as high as i could hoping that that would get somewhere close to the top of where that bubble sits with my tape measure and it was right about eight feet or so just a little might be a touch over but that's going to be about the height again it's about 17 feet bumper to bumper however that rear accessory hitch is going to add some length to that as well and it has a whole fiberglass shell so really nice construction on that you can see you get your two propane bottles here up front and then you have your manual tongue jack up here this thing is going to have all manual accessories on the outside so manual tongue jack and then looks like underneath here there are no stabilizers on it so it's just going to sit on the axles for your trailer and then i do want to point out underneath here your water tanks they are exposed underneath so not a huge problem or anything like that, but just want to make sure you're aware of that. And I will hopefully be able to find specs on what the exact tank sizes are. I'm still looking for that as well. But show you underneath here, you can see all your water tanks are open underneath there. So not a big issue if you're, you know, unless you're planning to camp in below freezing temperatures, it's really not going to be a problem. And even if you did want to do that, you can just camp without water in your tanks and it's still something that is able to be done. You have this awning that comes out over the top here and then you can see these latches right here. These are gonna be where the awning will attach into. So you can have an awning that covers this whole opening area. And then for the tires, they upgraded these to the Goodyear uh, Marathon tires. So you're gonna have those on the trailer. These look to be pretty dang new, um, have very good tread on them. So you have a Goodyear tire on there. Out here, you're gonna have two, looks like you have two outlets out here as well 
Underneath here is going to be a little storage compartment. So you will have some storage up underneath here to store some little accessories. Also have some access to some different lines down underneath there as well. And then as you come around the back, spare tire on the back, have the accessory rack, and you do have a hitch back here that you can store things in as well. So you'll be able to do that. But it also, uh, let's wait till we get to the other side. When we come on the other side, you'll see you also have the sewer hose storage compartment here as well. So you'll, you will be able to store a sewer hose there too. Go ahead and have your battery compartment right in here. Then your water heater, your electric power cord will be in this compartment there. And this will be a 30 amp uh, connection plug there. And then you have an outdoor shower in your dump stations. So outdoor shower on this side, you're gonna have the water hose for that. And then you have your dump station here for your black and your gray tanks. And you also have your city water connection there as well. Now keep in mind as we're looking around this RV, it has not been detailed yet. So still needs to be cleaned. It literally just got here this morning. So it hasn't been cleaned up or anything like that yet, but it will be getting made nice and pretty here. So it's available to show on the lot in the coming days got the sticker underneath here it looks like the gross vehicle weight rating is going to be 3,500 pounds so fully loaded you can get it up to 3,500 pounds has a 15 inch tire and see any other information on there that yeah it's going to be the or this looks like it's a 16 foot freedom deluxe is what it says on there so I guess this is a 16 foot model so correction on that and those are all your spec informations there Last couple things as we come around, you have some outdoor lights here, a nice little storage rack right here as well, so you can strap some things in for storage there too while you transport. And you have a flagpole here, so you can put a flag up on your trailer. Another light on the outside here as well. And then that's just about everything on the outside. So we'll take a look in the inside and see what the inside has to offer on this little travel trailer open the door has a really nice solid handle there a real nice satisfying click when you open it and then you can see one thing that really surprised me that I did not expect to see in the casita everything is carpet lined which is pretty interesting so we'll see more of that as we go inside as soon as you walk in you're gonna have your biggest storage compartment here and your AC unit here so we'll kind of walk inside before we take a look at all that stuff and we'll take a look at the layout of this trailer so as we Come in here. I'm gonna take a look at a few different things, but just kind of give you a look around here first and see everything that is in this floor plan. So, pretty nice little couple size travel trailer. So, we're gonna work our way from the front of the trailer to the back. So, we're gonna start with this big storage compartment right here. When you open this up, this is going to be the biggest storage compartment inside this RV. You can see you have the closing rod that goes all the way across. And although in this RV, I mean, a lot of people wouldn't consider this a big storage compartment for the size of this RV, this is pretty significant as far as size goes. Actually, let me see if I can whip out my tape measure and see about how long it is. Okay, so to the water pipe here, you are at about two feet of width that you have in the storage compartment. So actually a pretty significant space and bigger than I would have thought in a travel trailer this size so nice storage compartment you also have a nice little rack here as well and then all of your cabinet doors are going to have these latches on them to keep them closed so you just push that in and it'll keep the door closed you're going to have a full body length mirror here and I'm actually going to take my shoes off because I know without my shoes I'm 73 inches tall so without my shoes you can see I have to turn my head to the side just a little bit to be able to fit in here. So I'm guessing the height in here is about 5'10 or so, and maybe 5'11, um, but it doesn't bother me much. I can literally just squat down the tiniest bit and I have headroom now. And most of the time, if I were in this RV, I would just be sitting in the chairs anyways, because they're right there. So why stand the whole time when you can just sit here? You can even sit here and just have access directly to your kitchen. So I wouldn't consider height to be too much of an issue in an RV like this where I would probably spend literally next to no time standing around, just hanging out. Coming into this door, this is where your bathroom is going to be. So it is going to be an all-in-one bathroom and shower. You have toilet right here, a nice shower curtain as well that will protect your door. 
and then this is all just fiberglass all the way around. So one thing I was pretty impressed about is when I come in here and sit down on the toilet, there's actually quite a bit of room in here. I was surprised how roomy it felt. You have this nice little extra storage compartment door right there. And then you have another storage compartment right here as well, going down into there. Sink here and it's very roomy actually for what it is. I have a probably sitting on the toilet about eight to 10 inches from my shoulder to the wall on each side. And if I were taking a shower, I'd probably just sit here on the toilet just like I am and shower that way. So pretty roomy space. Um, I will point out here, some of the grip tape on the bottom is peeling. So that's something that would be an easy fix to just get new grip tape in there as well. Again, really interesting how they line everything with carpet inside this RV. Definitely a unique touch that you don't see in just about anything else. Coming to, I mean, I actually, I say just about anything else. I literally have never seen another trailer that is carpet lined like this. So very interesting. Uh, coming into your kitchen area, we'll take a look at all the storage you have in here. Another storage compartment up above what is going to be the compartment where your microwave is in. So you can see you have a little microwave in here, pretty much a dorm style microwave in there. Maybe even smaller than a dorm style, but small microwave, but gets the job done. You have your refrigerator down in here. It looks like those have propane coils on them. So I'm guessing this is a propane powered fridge. Um, it is a Dometic refrigerator. I'm not, I don't see any other controls on that. So that is going to be my assumption there that it is a gas powered fridge and then more storage underneath here. Now, as I make these videos, keep in mind, I am no certified RV expert. I have never seen one of these trailers before. There is literally no way for me to know all the components in it. So I am kind of making this on the fly, trying to figure things out as I go. So if I do misspeak on something or say something wrong, that is what the comment section down below is for. If you know more information that I may have missed or may have misspoke on, just mention that down below in the comments. I mean, you don't have to be rude about it. I'm not doing it intentionally. I'm just trying to make a video of this really cool trailer for you all to check out and see. So comment down below if I misspeak on something or miss something, or you know some piece of information about this RV that maybe I didn't mention. That's what the comment section is for. So add that value down there. Another storage compartment up over the microwave and then you have a paper towel holder there as well. Have this range hood that is going to have a light and you do have a fan that is going to vent outside of the RV. And you have a suburban two burner cooktop here as well. Pull out drawer and actually this, wow, this feels pretty solid and pretty quality there. Especially being a 2015 model, you can see how the latch mechanism works there. That latch that holds the drawer in place definitely feels very quality on the finishes on the drawers and cabinets another compartment underneath your sink looks like that's where the wheel is at as well but you do have some storage space down in there and then another one down underneath here somewhat shallow get the camera down underneath there oh that's access to the outside storage as well so you have a dual access to this underneath storage compartment this is going to be your furnace there. So that's gonna be your heat source. Then I think we mentioned your ACs down underneath here. So you don't have a roof mounted AC that is going to take up space on the height of the RV. So that's everything in your kitchen area. Um, also the material here, this feels like this is all fiberglass finishes on everything here as well. So pretty interesting there. For your seating, these are very comfortable seats opposing each other and they turn so i'm just pivoting on the seat here they spin around very comfortable actually very surprised at how comfortable those are and you have a nice dinette table here going in between them and it looks like this table can be taken out and you can remove that if you want but you're gonna have two chairs there a nice hangout area storage up above the seats as well two storage compartments nice little cargo net here that you can store some stuff in or you can remove that if you want and then you're going to have your big window here all the windows have these metal blinds on them which you could replace with something else if you wanted to but they do have the metal blinds and then you have a light over each chair as well but you can see sitting on here basically spin around and see around your whole trailer and then you have the windows all along the back bed area so which brings us to the bed area here where 
you have the bed back here that is going to also convert into another table. So this bed, let me lay down in it and see if we can get an idea exactly how long it is. All right, with my shoes on, I'm about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, and I can fully lay down with my with the soles of my feet barely touching the wall, and my head is not touching the other end of the wall. I have about an inch and a half worth of space there, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this bed is about 6'3", to 6'4", in length. Feel pretty comfortable saying that. Um, so have a good size bed there, actually, lots of sleeping space. And then if you lift this up, you can see these will become your backrest there. Put this one up here. And then you'll have another table that can be used as well. So underneath here, this will lift up. You have your legs for the table. Again, this is all fiberglass finishes here on the white parts. You have your water heater where you can turn that on and off right here as well. All of your electric controls for your fuses and breakers down underneath here. And let me see if I can literally gonna hold this table up with my head so I can get a free hand to lift this up. And you can see you have access to your hot water. Um, what's that? Your hot water tank underneath here as well. So had to whoops, had to look at the camera to try to see what I was looking at because I can't get my head down low enough. There we go. Okay, so yeah, so you can stand this up and you have a dinette table on the end there as well. It's a great place to sit and hang out. You have the TV in the back corner as well. It is a Samsung TV that is mounted to the roof. Looks like you have some different connections up here as well. They have a um, out and what's the <laughs> I can't think of the word. I was gonna say outlet extender. It's not an outlet extender. Um, outlet adapter piece why can i not think of the word of what this thing is called this bugs me so much when i make videos and this has a very common name that i should just know off the top of my head and i can't think of it but you know what i'm talking about you have three plugs there plugged into the one and then you're gonna have other connections here for cable and the tv in the corner so a really nice spot you have another light up here as well light up underneath this area and it looks like that's all your lighting in this area here and very cool spot to hang out and comfortably sit in i'm the more it's interesting the more i sit in this trailer and just kind of go through it the more i like it i'm just like this thing is so cool it definitely will get you out doing what you want to do very comfortably and i could literally see myself especially having a toyota tacoma with about a 6500 pound towing capacity I could see myself comfortably traveling anywhere in the united states in this rv I just realized too, I almost went without showing the sink, but your sink in here, it is a single basin sink with this nice wood covering on it. Again, real solid, feels like real solid hardwood covering that you have there. And then you have the faucet overhead, plus you have the light up here too. And you're gonna have a nice, this looks like probably AC vent there too. So, and your AC controls are gonna be right here next to the sink as well. So you'll have all that in your kitchen area. This is gonna be, it looks like the switch to turn on your gas cooking appliances. So your stove top there, that should be the switch to get that engaged, I would imagine. And then also you do have a air fan up here as well, right in the middle of the trailer to help vent out some of the smells as well from cooking to get some of that fresh air, or actually get some of the cooking air up out of your trailer and replace it with some fresh air. All right, y'all, so that pretty much wraps this up. I think I touched on just about everything and showed everything in this RV, but if I missed something, let me know down below in the comments. I'm pretty sure as of um, where we're at right now, we're gonna have this starting at $23,997, and I am in a sales position, so if you are interested in this RV, I would love to help you out and get you a great deal on it. I'm sure we are probably open to negotiating on the price on this trailer, so if this is something that you're interested in, you can text me at the number on the screen for more purchasing information, and we can see what we can do to make this RV yours or set up a time to come see it in person. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.